Okay, um, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash, the Bahamas, today was GMS. Also, salutations, Salakim out there, the Christmas truth. Also, Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. And uh, I think I'm going to name this uh, Real Prophets versus the Fake Prophets. All right. Now, what does a prophet do? A prophet, a prophet, all right, first of all, he has to be ordained by the Most High, right? But also, he goes out there on the streets. And he teaches the word of the Heavenly Father, right? He teaches the uh, pure doctrine, okay? And he won't be compromised. You know, he won't take bribes. You know, he won't sell out to uh, the so-called white man and start teaching uh, uh, false doctrine, you know? Because that's what these guys do, you know? They fucking teach bullshit, you know? And, and if you see, if you've been paying attention... You know, these uh, Johnny Come Latelys, you know, they, they're popping up, all right? Basically blasphem bl blaspheming the word, you know? Trying to water down the doctrine, saying other nations can make it. You know, and all this bull crap, man, okay? Then a lot of these guys, they don't even hit the streets, man, you know? They're not consistent on going out on the highways and byways. But let's start off with Jeremiah 1 and 5, right? It says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. So these other nations, God, they have to hear their judgment. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, 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 how Shai said, what? I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But if you're a prophet, okay, you're a prophet of the Lord. Okay, uh, 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 you have to get everybody their judgment. Everybody have, have to... Uh, 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 get it read their judgment from the scrolls, man. Okay, because yeah, uh, uh, Israel, you know, of course, it, it's, it's all about Israel. Well, basically, it's all about Jacob and Esau, you know, but also you got the side characters, you know, Moab, uh, Ishmael, and all these other things. They, they have to hear the word of the Lord, too. Now, are they going to convert? No, but their future is uh, 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 slavery, man, you know, slavery. But they have to hear the word. They have to hear the word of the Lord too. Okay. Let's jump to uh, nine. It says, "Then the Lord put forth His hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I've put my words in thou in thou mouth. All right. To what? Prophesy. So you have to prophesy, and that's the main thing. Prophets prophesy. A lot of these guys, they don't even uh." prophesy let me go to Ezra's real quick they don't even prophesy because that's the main thing as a prophet right a prophet is supposed to uh prophesy all right you grab a couple scriptures real quick because really that's our job really you know we might we got these little lives that we have we might have a woman you know kids and shit all that madness you know but really if you in this truth you was only put on this earth to uh prophesy man you know be a prophet to the lord everything else uh doesn't really matter you know and that's just the truth listen to this second address 15 1 behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth say of the lord you see so this is all from the holy father if you're a prophet you're gonna prophesy and cause them to be written in paper. Is not is not if not they not written in paper? Yes, for they are faithful and true. So they have to hear these words, man. They have to hear these words. All right, it's written in um the book of Isaiah. Before I tell you these things, uh, uh when I tell you these things, they shall they shall spring forth. I'm I'm kind of uh, kind of mangling the scripture, scriptures, you know. But that's the that's the point, or that's the lord's reason you know for for um for 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 having the prophets all right so his word all right and him all right so it so it can be magnified you know that's why it's written which i'm going to read that too right it says then shall you know a prophet have been what sit no then shall you know a, i grab it in a little bit you know but then shall you know you know who was a real prophet basically right that uh now verse 10 see 
I have this day set thee over the nation. And really, we're over the nations already. You know? They know we're the prophets of the Lord, man. You know, they try to make us look like we're crazy. But they know we're the prophets of the Lord coming back. They know it. You know? But then, look, like I was saying, you got the false prophets too. You know, there's nothing new under the sun, man. You know? It says, see, I have this day set thee over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant, you see? And that's what we're doing through the, through the spirit, man. Like Apostle Paul said, right? He said, what? Casting down imaginations, pulling down the strongholds, uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 5. Uh, let's start from 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. All right? Because why? What's our, what's our weapon? The, the Holy Scriptures. The book of Hebrews call it the sword. Okay? It says, but mighty through Yahweh, to pulling down of strongholds. Casting down. You see, casting down. Or what? Pulling up. Casting down imaginations. And every high thing that exalted himself against the knowledge of of the most high and that's the thing even when you read about daniel right and uh um during the babylonian um cat during during the babylonian captivity right daniel had he, he had to remind these heathens look man this is all about the most high all right the most High set you up he ruled in the kingdom of man he gave you this you know so that's our job you know and guess what they don't like it but look it got to be done it got to be said you know it has to. It says, uh, against, hey, look, why do you think they, they passed, passed these laws in fucking, in fucking Canada? You know? Oh, we're making the Bible illegal. You know? Because what? They're, they're, they're tired of us. <laughs> it's for the Israelites, man. You know? It's really for the Israelites. And it's, it's brothers. We, we got brothers there in fucking, um, Toronto, you know? I think a couple of different parts of uh, of of uh, Canada, you know. It says, uh, "Bring into captivity every thought into and to the obedience of Yahweh Shai." You see, basically, look, man, we we saying, look, man, that the hell with with all that bullshit y'all talking about in this society, you know. The word of the heavenly Father matters, you know. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, all right? That's what really matters. And your asses is going down. You're going into captivity. That's our job. It's just as simple as that, you know? It's a dirty job, but, yeah, somebody got to do it, you know? Somebody got to uh, take on this task, right? Hold on one second. Somebody got to hit the streets. Cause that, and that's nothing. You have to hit the streets. You got to go out there on the streets. And I'm, I'm going to grab those scriptures. It says, uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what we're doing. We're, 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 talking, we're talking against uh, America, all right? We're talking against China. All right, we telling them, look, y'all going into a, into, in, in, into World War Three, you know. We telling people, look, man, more diseases is coming, man. Civil war is coming, you know. That's the job. The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. See, then that's when people gonna gonna realize, like, oh shit. You wait when all hell break out, you know, that's when people going to realize, you know, we just want some old regular man out there, you know, we were sent by the heavenly father, you know, Yahweh Shah said, him, him, he said, no, 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 Yahweh Shah said, uh, you, you don't despise me, but you despise him that what sent me, you know, so then when, when all this hell break out, you know, these people, they're they going to be shameful, man, you know gonna be a lot of people with their heads down so let's switch gears a little bit let's go to proverbs uh 1 and 21 which is a classic scripture all right start from 20 
Pro Proverbs 1 to 20. It says, Wisdom cries out. She uttered her voice in the streets. All right. So showing you, you have to hit the streets is another thing. All right. You got to go out. That's part of the ministry. You have to hit the streets. Okay. You got to go out there. Okay. It says, She crieth in the chief place of concourse. Let's go over concourse real quick. Uh. Mummer, growl, roar. Basically, it's, it's a lot of noise there. A lot, a lot of commotion. Like like the stores. You know, busy streets and shit like that. Alright? Let's see a chief place. Mm, hide head. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, it would be like the, the main uh, uh, streets and, you know, part in different parts of, of, your, of your city. You know? You don't go hide in the damn corner, you know? Cause guess what? We gotta be what put on the uh put on the forefront. All right? She cried in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates, right? Now uh going to the word gate, right? It says get right to it. Marketplace, public meeting place, palace, royal royal castle, temple court, uh tabernacle, all right? But so but you get it, the city, man, you know. In your city, it says, uh, "In the city, she utter of her word, word, saying, How long shall ye simple ones love simplicity?'" But I'm gonna stop right there. Let's go to Amos. We go to Amos five and eight. I mean five and ten. What was it Amos? Five and, okay, it's, that's why. Five and ten. It says they hate him; they rebuke of in the gate. They abhor him that speak uprightly. And that's another thing, man. We gotta. We, uh, there's another thing as a prophet, right? You gotta suffer for what righteousness' sake too. You know, that's part of the job of what being a prophet. A lot of these guys gonna be uh, loved. You know. They want to be. They want to be be accepted by this world. A perfect example is that dude. Uh, what's his name? Gosh, okay, Kazariak. You know, he want to be loved by these people, man. He want he want to rub elbows with fucking celebrities and shit. You know, no man, you supposed to be hated, man. You know, the Lord said, if they hate me, they shall also what hate hate, hate you. You know, so you trying to get get love? No. It's, from, from the world, man, you you going off. The scripture says, "What seek love of the congregation." These niggas is not part of our 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 uh, congregation, you know. The scripture say, "Him that uh, wonder of of the way of understanding shall what shall shall go into what the congregation of the dead." So you got two congregations. You got the you got the congregation of the living. And you got the congregation of the dead. Fuck those dead niggas, man. Yahweh Shah said, "What that the dead bury the dead." Fuck them, you know? They don't want to get this word, man. Right? So let's go to Matthew. And right now it's probably like beating a dead horse, but these are scriptures that I lined up. You know, uh, Matthew's 22 and 1. You know, but maybe somebody will uh, see this, you know, and be edified and know that they have to hit the highways and byways. And know what their job is as a prophet. Because you got a lot of uh, misleading Israelites, you know, teaching bullshit. And see it straight like that, teaching bullshit. It says, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a certain king which made a marriage for his son. And sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding. And the wedding is this truth. And they will not come. And again, he said... Right, look, if you ain't going hitting the highways and byways, you got the ability to teach. Now, don't get me wrong. Every brother is not a prophet, right? Or, or if you took your hand from the pipe, you was one teach, teacher you took in, you're going off, man. You know? Once you hit them streets, you'd have made a vow to the Lord, man. Ain't no going back, man. You know? And we done seen that. You know, they was invited to the wedding and they, and they left early. They left the, they, 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 they left the wedding early, you know? The spiritual wedding. And again, he said, for other servants, say, tell them, 
So like, let me start back from there. He sent forth servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding and they will not come. You see, you got a lot of guys like that, man. All right. And again, he sent forth other servants saying, tell them which were bidden. Behold, I'll prepare my dinner and my oxen and my fatlings are killed and all things are ready. Come into the marriage. But they made light of it and went their way and one to his farm and another to his merchandise. All right. Uh, let me see. I want to get right to it. But I guess I got to read to it. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitely and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth and sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burnt up their city. Then saith he to his servants, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Right. And that's the thing. You got a, a lot of these guys, man, you know. Uh, they're not really worthy, all right, uh, of this, of this knowledge, of this truth, man, you know, and they, and they really, <laughs> really, they just want to do their, do their own thing, you know, they don't, they don't want to follow the, uh, foundation, what, what, what's, what's, what's been laid, you know, and, um, um, a lot of these guys, they, they gonna, they gonna find out, you know, uh, you know, hey, Yahweh Shai, he's not a man. To, he's not a man to be 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 uh, uh be be uh man. He's not a man to be effed with. All right, they gonna find out. You know, it says, "Go ye therefore into the highway." This is the point. I read all that just to <laughs> get here. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye find, bid them to the merit. And that's what we that's what we do, man. We go into the highways and go into the byways, man. And we're bidding people to this to this knowledge, man. And, you know, to this merit marriage, giving them this knowledge. You know, check out the word highways, right? The way through outlet, the exit. Literally, literally, the ways through which the ways go out. The places before the city, where the roads from the country terminate. Therefore, outlets of the country highways all enter into the city boundaries of the countries. All right. So the Lord is telling you, look, man, go hit the streets, man. And that's what most of the ministry take take place. Besides this video, what I'm what I'm doing right now, you know. So let's hit the next scripture. Uh, let me see, Second Timothy four and two. All right, got a couple lined up. Actually, I got a lot of scriptures lined up. So it is what it is. Um. 2 Timothy 4 and 2, it says, preach the word instant, in season or out of season. So look, rather it's cold, rather it's hot, you have to hit the highways and byways. You know, you can't be like, yeah, it's camp season. It's, it's getting warm. No, man. The Lord said, occupy till I come. You know, you, you hey, see, and that's what see, Great Millstone is doing all the heavy lifting, man. You know? If it wasn't for us, man, hey, man, the, the, we, we wouldn't even be this close, you know? Or, let me say this, the Lord will find somebody else to to, 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 uh, to, to uh, do, do this work, you know? Because somebody got to go out and do this work, <laughs> you know? Be, a, be about our, be about our uh, father's business, man, you know? That's what, that's what, that's what we got to do. Preach the word, be in, be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove, rebu rebuke, exhort, with all long suffering and doctrine. All right, so let's look up the word "be instant," though. All right, plays, place over, especially a person's coming up one suddenly. Hey, well, what it's saying? Be ready. That's what it's saying. Be ready. So you got to be ready. Whether it's out of season or what? In season, man. That's what you got to do. Got to be ready. All right. So let's switch gears. All right. Let's go to Matthew 7 and 15. All right. And most of this, I usually don't do videos this long, but I'm going to do it. Whatever. You know, uh... <laughs> 
which how was I warned us of these guys, man? It says, "Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving and wolves." So a lot of these guys that's popping up, right? Uh, Esau set them up, right? Esau probably set some of these dudes up, and a lot of them. And then, then the other percentage, all right, I just say 50-50. The other half is probably just fucking bug outs, man. All right? Fucking rebels, man. You know? The apostles try to, uh, uh, and also us, you know, we try to give guys, uh, uh, try to give them advice on, on how to move, you know? And to, to them, you know, hey, you niggas not over us, you know? Just like uh, 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 <laughs> uh, Moses, right? When Moses was was setting up Israel, right? They was cussing out Moses. Hey man, who who made you Lord over us? You know, you the man. That, that you the man. He 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 killed you. The man that uh that uh no the dude said uh would you kill us like you did the uh did the like you did the did the Egyptian? You know, so basically <laughs> they was they was dry snitching, you know, <laughs> and really. Moses did it because you know the other dude was Israelite. He was oppressing the Israelite, and Jake still had a problem with it, man. You know, and this is a good chapter, right? I really want to read, but let me read that verse over. It says, "Beware of false prophets which come to you in cheap's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves, man." All right, and that's what these guys is is is, is doing, man. They're they're really raving as wolves man you know they don't really give a hell about the flock you know which i should have read this first this in um the book of matthew but it'll make it matthew 24 11 you know but i'm just showing you yahweh warned us of these things to to come man you know uh let's start from 10 24 and 10 and then and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. Yeah, another thing, another of these, these false prophets, these guys that set up, all right, just like the scribes and the Pharisees in the ancient world, how they how, how, how they deliver you, how was shy, you know, they they going to try to do, do, do the same to us, man, you know? Just like Nate. Nate, he go on some of these shows, he be talking shit about us, man, you know? Not like then, you know, try to demonize us, you know? Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall then and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. This is the point. And many false prophets shall arise and deceive many. And that's what's going on, man. You know? That's what these 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 other Israelite camps are uh, doing, you know. Like uh, Peter said, uh, hold on. <laughs> Let's go to that in Peter. Uh, put in damnable real quick. He said there be some some amongst you that shall bring in damnable. Even hey, we done had guys that was amongst great millstone that brought in damnable heresies, you know. And that shit got nipped in the bud. You know, we kick those guys out. Let me search something. Cause, cause, let me see if I can find something real quick. And I think they changed it. Because it was another translation that I seen. Right? And it said, there be some amongst Israel that shall bring in damnable heresies. You know? Let me see. Uh, I'm just trying to scan through real quick. Bear with me. All right, but we're going to get back. All right, 2 Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets among the people, even as there either, Salaki, even as there shall be false teachers among you, even privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them. Oh, uh, 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 what was that guy's name? Well, he the, the Mississippi maniac, right? He totally, hey, he took away the Lord's name, saying he and, and gave the Lord some other kind of name, you know. 
So we seen we have seen some of these things take place. Privily bringing damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bringing upon themselves swift destruction. Listen to this: and many shall many shall follow their pernicious way, or what destructible ways. It says, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, right? And that's what these guys do. If you notice, all everybody hate Great Millstone, even of the Israelite groups. And, and even people that's 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 that's, that's outside of uh that's, that's 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 outside of the truth, they always speak about it. You know, or they always want to come to our camp, you know, or we don't give them that 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 uh energy, man, you know. Cause we see you, we, hey man, we see you a fucking hundred hundred yards away, man. We know you on bullshit, you know. We know you're not coming sincere. Now let's go to Second Timothy four and three. Second Timothy four and three. Uh, For the time will come when they shall when they shall not endure sound doctrine. But continue after their own lust. See, and that's why also in the book of Timothy, it says what? Continue in the things what thou hast learned. All right? Hold on. Let me grab that real quick. It might be in this same chapter. So the doctrine is important, you know? Like I was saying earlier, some of these guys, they have just took bags. Right? They, they took the bag. They're sellouts, you know? Here we go. It's three and four. Uh, but continue. This is Second Timothy three and fourteen. But continue in the things which thou has learned, and have been assured, knowing of whom thou has learned them. And that's another thing, man. Some way, somehow, right? A lot of these camps they have uh, learned from Great Millstone. You know, rather they like it or not. You know, rather they like it or not, they have learned from Great Millstone. You know simple as that but guess what they still water down and try to demonize the uh, doctrine you know now let's go back it says for the time will come they will not endure sound sound doctrine the time will come they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own lust they show heat to themselves teachers having itching ears let's hit the word itching ears to scratch, tickle, make an itch, uh, desire of hearing something pleasant. Yeah, a lot of these guys see things that's pleasant, you know, things that's not a uh, things that that, that 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 fucking make you comfortable, you know, things that uh, the uh, that 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 that'll make you happy, you know, like the like the Christian church, man, you know, uh, 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 what's they call it? Pro prosperity teaching. You know, and that's these guys, all right? But the Lord said, "Look, hey, look, it's going to be a, a a time. Look, these dudes, they 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 won't endure sound doctrine. You know, that oh, that's enough. That's why it's written, right? Meddle not with them that is given to change, right? Let's grab that. That's another way how you know who the false prophets because they constantly changing doctrines. You know, like yeah, uh." Proverbs 21 and 4. My son, fear thou the Lord and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. You see? Don't don't deal with those characters, man. You know? Like I was just reading in Timothy, continuing the things and what? What thou has learned. Don't meddle with those guys, man. Don't deal with those guys. You know, the spirit is not working with those guys. Satan is working with them. Alright, now let's go to First Timothy four and one. All right. And, and look, an apostle Paul prophesies this. Uh, First Timothy four and one. Now, this spirit speak of expressly in the latter times that some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. Because look, if you stop teaching the doctrine, right? You're not in the faith, man. You're you're a false prophet. Okay. And like and like I was saying earlier, that foundation, right? You have to be building on some kind of foundation, all right? And you got to know where that foundation is uh is uh coming from, right? Like it says in uh, 
Let me see. One second. not be what I'm looking for. Alright, which this would be good too. But hold on, matter of fact, I can put in foundation of the apostles. Hold on. One second. But that was good too in the book of Corinthians. It says uh now therefore hold on, let me go back okay and our it says now therefore ye are no more strangers for Ephesians 2 and 20 now therefore now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints of the household of Yahweh and are built upon the foundation of the prophets you see you, that's not, you have to figure out who the, who are the prophet. Well, I gave you a clue in what? Jeremiah, the 28th chapter, you know? And Yahweh Shai Mashiach himself being the chief cornerstone, man. So you got to uh, uh, see who the, who the prophets are, man, you know? Go to another scripture. 1 Corinthians 3 and 10. It says, according to the grace of Yahweh, which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed on how he buildeth there. But so you're supposed to, supposed to be careful, man. And you're supposed to teach what those men are teaching. That's why Paul is saying, look, take heed on what you what you building on, man. Know what you building on. All right? Le least ye be a castaway, you know? So let's go back. It says, uh, now the spirit speak of expressly, and a lot of times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrine of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, right? And you look at these guys, they're a bunch of hypocrites, you know. They don't they don't practice what they preach, man, you know. I don't I don't even think some of them guys actually believe in the in the Lord, man. Because otherwise you you wouldn't sell out. The scriptures uh, uh, speak uh, speak about teaching for what filthy Lucas sake, right? If you have a, a 50C3, you're a sellout. Rather, rather you like it or not, you are a sellout, my friend. You're not a if you have a 50C3, you're a sellout. You know, because Lord said, look, when you when you enter into this land, make no lead with these people, make no oath with them. Don't make uh, oath with with the devil. You know. What was that at? Uh, put that word in real quick. Then we're going to wrap it up. Go to the book of Titus. Jump right to the point. Let's jump from 10. Jump to 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teeth and things ought not for filthy lucre's sake. You see, for money, man. See, for gain, advantage. You see? For money. So Jake, Jake is totally going off. Let's go to Ezekiel 25 and 24 real quick. And that's how you spell it. Look, if you go to these guys and they've got a 501c3, fucking run for the fucking hills, man. You know? What's that, 25 and 24? Hmm. Let me see. That's not it. Let me see. Uh... Let's 
go 24 and 25 then. Hmm, that's not the scripture. Okay, one second, bear with me. It'll pop up in Ezekiel, one second. It's 22 and 20, 25. It says, uh, Ezekiel 22 and 25. There is a conspiracy of our prophets in the midst thereof. Like a, like a roaring lion, raving prey, they have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made many widows in the midst thereof. That's these guys, man. Her priests have violated my law and have, and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between holy and profane. Yeah, another thing, man. These guys, they want to totally be with the world, man. You know? Half of these guys, man, you, you can't even you can't even tell these guys they even in the in the truth, man. You know? Neither have they shown the difference between the unclean and clean. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. I I am profane among them. You see, they ain't thinking about your how why your shot, man. You know, it's about what their their own belly. You know, that's why they don't they don't teach the name. A lot of these camps they don't teach the name, man. You know. Let me say that, uh one more. Script. I got Deuteronomy 18 real quick. Deuteronomy 18. I'm gonna stop right there. Deuteronomy 18 uh, and 18. And I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee. And I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them. And all I and all I shall command him. And, and this shall come to pass that whosoever would not hearken unto my words, which he spake in my name, that I require it of him. But the prophets which shall presume to speak a word in my name. Which I have command, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Yeah, some of these guys, they they what Jesus and all that crap. Look, his name is Yahweh Shai. You know, his name is Yahweh Shai, man. In the name of other gods, even the prophet, even that prophet shall die. And and if thou say in thy heart, how shall we know the word which which the Lord has spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if that thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord have not spoken. But the prophet, but the prophet have spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. You see? Don't be afraid of that dude, because what he's saying is not coming to pass, man. And plus, and on top of that, he's a sellout, you know? Look, so with that, man, I'm gonna give all praise and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash, double honors to the elders of GMS. Also, salutations, shout out to that is pushing this truth, and also shalom to the rest of the whole full elect. Peace.